Mackenzie, and I'm back. Isn't that exciting? Um, okay, so my background looks a little bit different. It's probably because, well, I moved, and I got married, and I haven't decorated the bathroom yet. So, don't be rude, okay? It's plain. It's boring. That's it. Okay. Anyways, so today we are going to get started. Um, I know it's been a little while, so uh, we're, we're just going to just gonna start all over again. I'm Kinsey. I live in Georgia now, originally from Houston, and um, I'm going to show you how to do the side fishtail that I posted a picture of, and before we get started, I'm going to show you a few of the materials that I have been using to create this look. So first and foremost, we have the usuals. We have the brush, we have a smoothing brush, and we have a rat tail comb. Most of the time I use this for um, making parts straight and things like that. This is what I use to uh, smooth my hair once I have teased it, and then this is just my regular brush. And then I have my faithful, my old faithful Betsy Johnson uh, bobby pin bag, and then I have small elastics, and a couple of other things that I am using. And number one will be the Sanvia texturizer, texture iron, okay? Um, this is what will give you your volume, um, especially doing this fishtail thing we got going on. And then last but not least is my hair products that I am, ooh, not in the camera, okay. And first of all, I have the Paul Mitchell stuff that keeps my hair from frying off because I pretty much use heat on it all the time. And then I have hairspray, big sexy hair, always love it. And then the last thing is big sexy hair, what a tease. It's basically like backcombing in a bottle. Um, sometimes people don't like you to backcomb their hair. They would rather you spray something to give the same effect. This gives the same effect, but then you have product in your hair and then you can't like go four days without washing your hair because you have a lot of product in it. So I just like to tease mine. I do not wash my hair every day as gross as that may sound to some of you. Um, it's bad for your hair to wash it every day. Um, it dries it out really, really bad. So with that said, we're going to get started. So first and foremost, I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush my hair because I haven't brushed it all day and we got some curl stuff going on here. Brushing, brushing, brushing. All right. So I also have a ponytail holder and to accomplish what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to have to turn my head over. So you might not see me for just a second. I'm gonna to try to accomplish this somewhat in the camera, but I just need to put a ponytail on the top of my head when that's what we're getting ready to do. So I'm gonna flip my hair over, pull it up, and I take my brush and I just start combing until it is completely true. I like my hair super, super tight and super, super smooth. So if you don't like that, you don't have to do that. You can do it as messy as you want, but I like go above and beyond like I spray while I put my hair in ponytail. Luckily, the great thing about doing this on a Saturday night is that my hair will be done for church in the morning. Just sleep in it. All right, so, so I'm not so much worried about the front because the front isn't going to be seen on the majority of the front of my head because of this hairstyle, so. All right, there we go. Okay, so there we go. The back is smooth and such. Okay, so. Now, in order to cover this right here, because you're gonna see it from the back. Um, in the picture that I posted, it's smooth in the back, and I have a piece of hair wrapped around my ponytail holder so you can't see it. So, the way that I accomplish that, it's really easy. I need, you need a bobby pin, and that's it. And I'm gonna take a bobby pin, 
I use, um, they are called, I don't know, they're really good bobby pins. They're from Sally's. They come in a clear plastic container. They're awesome and they don't slip, which is a really big problem for us that have a lot of hair. And then what do you do? Because, ooh, I see flyaways. Okay, um, so those of us that have lots of hair, we can't have bobby pins that slip. Okay, so take just a little piece, oh shoot, take a little piece of your hair and you are going to just wrap it. This is a pretty old technique. This is not anything new or shouldn't be. So I am going to get another bobby pin because I dropped that one. And Through the cave of bobby pins. Shoot, that's a big one. I don't need a big one. I always get the big ones when I don't need the big ones, and then I always get the little ones when I need the big ones. Okay, so I'm going to just take the ends of my hair and wrap it around this bobby pin um, because it helps it secure it. Sometimes when I put it, when I do this to my hair, they start sliding, and then the hair around it around it comes off. To do some extra security, I'm going to spray it, especially in the back, to kind of smooth that out. Again, I like my hair to be super duper smooth. Makes it look neater on my head, but if you prefer that to not be that way, you do not have to do that, okay? So next, I'm going to take my texturizer, and I probably need to plug it in because that's what it requires. Um, so there are several different functions on this, the Sandia Texture Iron. Um, there are several settings. There's low, there's color treated, and there's high. Now high, super duper strong, like really hot, burns your fingers off, and I know this because I've done it. Not literally burnt my fingers off, but you get the point. Anyway, so I normally do it on the color treated set setting, which is the middle, like medium. You don't have to, you can do it on low if you prefer. Um, and while that's heating up, I'm going to take my um, hot off the press, my thermal protection spray, and I'm just gonna spray it throughout my hair because I use so much heat all the time that I don't really feel like it ever does anything, but it says that it does. So I use it so um, so the next part is going I'm just gonna speed through this because you do not need to watch me texturize all of my hair but I don't do the actual my whole head on this um, hairstyle specifically I do on some but I like for the back to be super smooth and I can still see flyaways and I can go back and fix that but um I like this part of my hair to be super smooth and then um, just the actual fishtail itself up here in the front to be texturized. So with that said, I'm going to take tiny little pieces. What this texturize, texturizer is, is basically a crimper. It's a very, very small crimper. Now I have crimpers that are the normal size and then there are micro crimpers, mini crimpers, and this is like a micro crimper. Okay, it's not like like ridged perfectly to where it's um, like zigzags exactly. It's kind of like a scalloped look. You can see right there. Ooh. Um, so it's not like perfect. So this, I'm going to take it and I normally just start from the base of my ponytail and I work my way down. You do not use, use this like a straightener, okay? It is the size of a straightener, but that does not mean you use it like a straightener. So you start here at the base and it's basically like a crimper, a triple barrel curling iron, any of those things that you may have seen. You just take it and you press it down, down, all the way down until you get to the ends and you start on other pieces of hair. Um, now, it doesn't make any difference necessarily if you miss a part, like I just missed a part and I went back, only because I'm OCD and I have an issue with that, um, but you can definitely just do the majority of it and it still make the same effect. So there you go. That is the 
actual um, what it looks like afterwards. It kind of makes your hair looks gnarly at the end, but we will fix that so you won't actually see that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my head and we will video past this part. We will, we will fast forward past this part. texturized my hair um so the first of all the reason that I actually do texturize my hair is because despite what you may think I don't have a lot of it um, my hair is super thin um, if you use the texturizer to um, to do your hair like this or any other way um, actually it like takes your ponytail from maybe this big to like this big super fast it would be considered like a fro my fro the other night I did it to my hair and my hair was like out to here um, but so now is going to be the more difficult part um, if you do not know how to fishtail I'm about to show you how to fishtail okay so first I'm gonna just kind of take my brush and um, comb it out because again I like my hair to be rather smooth um, the more I brush it out the easier it is to work with okay so take your hair part it into two sections okay and this is not any amazing trick nothing it's just a fishtail okay so you're gonna take a piece of hair from over here and give it to the other side because the other side just doesn't have enough and then you're gonna take it from the outer part of this side and give it back to the other side. It's like we're sharing. It's like we're borrowing and giving it back. You're gonna take it from this side, give it to the other side, and then this side's gonna take a little bit of hair and give it back to the other side. And again, I'm gonna speed this part up because it does take a little while. The reason that I'm not doing it from the other side, the reason that I'm doing it down is because this is the side that's going to be seen. So make sure that you're not trying to fishtail your hair back and then it's back here and it's not up here in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. Tail. There it is. Um, God, I got more flyaways. They're everywhere. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you only want it to stop like right here. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna start taking pieces of hair, the hair that I just fishtailed, and start pulling them out. Um, this at makes your fishtail obviously much larger and since it's not an actual braid it's a lot easier to pull those pieces of hair that you crossed over out so just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and I hold the bottom while I pull that way um, I definitely have a good grip on it and it does I don't just start pulling a bunch of hair that's going to eventually come out at the bottom so pulling up here. So I'm gonna pull more at the top and make it fatter at the top because um, that's the look I want. You don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want. Um, so once I have pulled the majority of the braid out, 
back out and made it pretty fat and lots of volume. I'm going to take an elastic. Mine happens to be at this moment bright orange. No, you do not have to use bright orange. If you have clear, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen once we're done. Okay. So there I have tied that part off and I am left with this huge fishtail. Okay. And one product I did not mention was my good old faithful foam donuts. Um, I use these to make right here larger. I actually, believe it or not, do not use these in every hairstyle I have, but um, the two, <laughs> two out of the four hairstyles I've posted do use these donuts. You can buy them now everywhere. They are everywhere, literally. Um, so you can definitely buy those. So I take two bobby pins and I kind of make it not a donut. I stick it in um, the two sides, if you can see that, and I make it one solid little piece of foam. That way um, it doesn't have a huge hole in the middle, my hair doesn't sink. Okay, so this is the tricky part and it's just gonna be a whole lot of pulling and finagling and moving around uh, to get this to cover. Now I have a blonde one because my hair is blonde. They do make them in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. So if you have a lot of hair, you don't need to use a texture iron. And second, you probably don't need to use a donut either. I, on the other hand, do because I do not have as thick of hair as I wish that I did. So I'm gonna take this and right at the top of the base of my ponytail, my hair is going to go this way, okay? You can make it go this way if you choose. And I just dropped another body pin. You can make it go this way if you choose. So you put your donut going this way. I like it going this way on my head. So I'm going to just pin it to my scalp and make it nice and woo -woo, secure. Okay, so there it is. Now I'm gonna take my fishtail and there. I am now going to start pulling and trying to get this thing covered, okay? I do bobby pin it, so you can use bobby pins. Um, so I'll show you just how I get it covered. So I'll take a lot of bobby pins at this point and just start pinning the braid to my scalp to cover the foam, okay? So there, that's covered now, okay? Now I need to go to the other side because the other side is not remotely covered and I'm gonna start pulling the braid, keep pulling the hair, pull the hair, keep pulling, keep pulling, until I have enough to then pull this over to this side and pin it, okay? So it's a whole lot of just pulling and making your hair work for you. You know your hair best than anybody, so there you go. There is mine. Now I'm going to do some extra bobby pinning over here just to make sure that it is covered and you want to make sure that you bobby pin in the back back here because this probably isn't going to be covered in the back all right so i believe i can't feel it so i think i've got it pretty much pinned all the way back okay so here we go so now i've got this part completely covered. I'm just going to start positioning things where I want them to go. All right, so I'm going to start spraying things back in because I had a lot of flyaways while I was pulling. So you may ask, what am I supposed to do with the bottom part? I'm about to show you. Okay, so once you have it completely uh, pulled the way that you want it, whatever, okay. So now I take a second elastic and I do it just like I normally would, except on the very last time that I get my hair through it, I'm not going to take it all the way through. I'm going to make a little like donut, like 
So, okay. Then my last trick is to take my, I have several different size bobby pins. This is actually a pretty small one. Um, I take this and I take my hair and I basically do exactly what I did the first time with the bobby pin, with the ponytail holder, but I do it at the base. So then it covers it and you can't see it. The actual orange elastic that I have in my hair. All right, so there we go. And I pin it on the bottom so you can't see the bobby pin. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to pin it on the side of my head using as many or as little bobby pins as you would like. I normally use a big one just so I can use one big one. So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to pin it close to my ear. Now, I like very dramatic hairstyles, obviously. And so you do not have to do it this big. You can do it a different direction if you would like. You don't have to do it this big, okay? You can always do it smaller or um, a different direction. If you would do it, like to do it the back of your head, if you'd like to do it at the side, uh, you can always do a different direction. You don't ever have to stick with mine and do it exactly the way I did it, okay? So there you go. There it is in person, well, in person relatively in video. If you would like to see more hair tutorials of a specific hairstyle that you may see on my Instagram, Kinsey Johns, K-I-N-S-I-E-J-O-H-N-S, -S, you can always uh, go look at those, see whichever ones you might like, um, and then message me, let me know. You can email me if you would like me to do your hair for weddings, proms, etc. I live in Georgia, Atlanta but I will more than willing to travel if you would like me to. So, um, here is the hairstyle and I'm going to make one quick, quick pass all the way around. There it is. And then we're turning all the way around. So from this side, I kind of look like I'm bald, no biggie. And then you come here and it's like, wham, right in your face. Okay, thank you for watching and I really appreciate it. Subscribe at the bottom. I'm probably going to be doing more. Um, I am uh, getting certified right now in hair braiding and hair wrapping. So that'll be exciting. And again, if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know on Instagram. I have Facebook and you can also email me at kinsey.girly, G-U-R-L-E-Y at AOL.com. Thank you so much and don't forget to click the no.